plastics have millions of uses, and about 160,000 plastic bags are used globally every second. But these plastic bags contribute to the destruction of Mother Earth. Water pollution, health risks, disastrous calamities, depletion of natural resources. First of all, the usage of plastics causes water pollution. Water pollution causes harm and even death to aquatic animals. And aquatic animals that we, together with other organisms, eat like fish, crabs, and shrimps die. And the food chain will be disrupted and will cause several certain diseases and the destruction of ecosystems. Aquatic pollution is caused by waste that are dumped into the water. Waste in bodies of water, especially in the ocean, harms the ecosystem at coral reefs. Coral reefs are the rainforests of the sea and serve as the home for many marine species. Coral reefs also have a $275 billion annual global economic value. Imagine what a decline in the economy the destruction of coral reefs would bring if we continue not to pay attention to our waste. Also, the destruction of the coral reefs is one of the reasons of the decrease of fish population. The death of a massive number of fishes may lessen a fisherman's income and at the same time, the food for the community. The contamination of water also decreases the percentage of clean water. One in ten people lack access to safe, potable water. If we continue to be careless with our waste, then this threat will even increase. Second, environmental risk factors such as air, water, and soil pollution contribute to more than 100 diseases and injuries. Burning waste materials is the most common factor of air pollution. Some research has indicated that bucket burning of waste can increase the risk of heart disease, respiratory ailments, and causes damages to the nervous system, kidney, or liver. Burning plastic also produces dioxin, a carcinogenic substance. Aside from burning our wastes, we also tend to dump them up somewhere. Heaps of garbage do not only produce chemicals, but will also become breeding sites for vectors like mosquitoes, rats, and flies. These organisms like to drive in dry places, and a vacant lot dumped with garbage is good for them. The increasing number of these pests may also mean the increasing number of diseases, as they are known to carry bacteria and viruses. Third, disastrous calamities, like floods, can also be caused by improper disposal of plastics. As plastics accumulate and block the canals, floods are more likely to occur when there is rain. For example, disastrous tropical storm Kong Wong in Pasaya City, Manila, which causes for the water in the river reach critical level. After the disastrous typhoon left the country, the local government of Manila conducted community cleaning activities and they have collected racks of garbage on the rivers and on the banks of Manila Bay, which is mainly composed of plastics. Fourth, plastics are made from derivatives of natural gas and petroleum products. Also, since natural gas and petroleum are non-renewable sources, once they are used up, they are gone forever together with their importance. On the other hand, waste management, specifically recycling, can be the key to preserve our natural resources. Many of the things we use daily nowadays can be recycled or reused. The reason for this is not only to reduce the wastes we dispose each day, but also to decrease the natural resources used. Practically, we can buy our own reusable plastic bottle instead of buying bottled water each time we are thirsty. We can also use clothes as diapers instead of disposable diapers. Here's a fun fact, plastic bags need about a millennium to be fully decomposed. Bacteria, the organisms responsible for degrading materials in the soil, 
turn up their noses at plastics. In short, plastic bags, like other plastics, are considered non-biodegradable. Another fun fact, 500 billion to a trillion plastic bags are used annually. These bags find their way to bodies of water. Here's another fun fact. Bags were introduced to the supermarkets in 1977. This means that the first plastics used are still not decomposed today and will continually pile up until the year 2977.